Kathmandu, hundreds of security personnel patrolled a tense town in western Nepal today after an 18-month-old boy and seven police died in violent protests against a new constitution. The government deployed the army and announced an indefinite curfew in parts of Kailali district, a day after protesters attacked police with spears, axes and knives and also the home of a paramilitary officer, killing his son. The boy's father, Netra Bahadur Saud, told AFP he was sitting on his porch when protesters fired at him, killing his 18-month-old son. My son was playing in front of me, all of a sudden I heard bullet fire, Saud said. Within seconds my son fell to the ground with head injuries. I rushed him to hospital but he was already dead. The shooters targeted me. My son was innocent. Why was he killed? He said. Anger has been building for weeks in parts of Nepal after lawmakers struck a breakthrough deal on a new constitution, spurred by April's devastating earthquake. The constitution was meant to draw a line under centuries of inequality, but plans to divide the country into seven provinces have sparked fury among historically marginalized communities, who say the new borders will limit their political representation. The latest clashes broke out in the town of Tikaba. 420 kilometers, 260 miles, west of Kathmandu, when activists from the Tharu ethnic minority held a protest to demand their own separate province. The Tharas have struggled to overcome decades spent as bonded slaves to high caste landowners. Officials in Kailali said more than 40 security officers were wounded in Monday's clashes, but gave no details of casualties among the demonstrators.